I've been having a problem with my DOS computer recently, uh, actually over the last several years. It's been an on and off again thing. And uh, you might be able to see over here, we have a yellow light that's on. Indicator light means there's something wrong. Right here, it's uh, trying to detect the primary master and the primary slave, and it says none. So it can't detect the hard drive. So what's wrong? Well, is it the hard drive? No, it's not the hard drive. I've already gone through this many times. It's actually the cable. The cable is a piece of junk. It's just getting old, and you know, it's kind of stretching its way over to one of the hard drives, and maybe that has something to do with it. Anyway, it says, disk boot failure, insert system disk, and press enter. You press enter, it checks the floppy drive, you know, and it doesn't work, so. The problem is the cable, but, uh, so, why don't you just replace the cable? Well, the problem with that is, this particular old computer has a IDE cable that has a uh, a pin where there is no pin in the normal cables nowadays. The motherboard itself has the pin, and uh, the new cables simply uh, do not have that. It's empty. Like they have all the ca all the holes around it except for that one. I don't know why they didn't grandfather the damn thing in just for compatibility's sake. Why not? But. Uh, doesn't hurt them to put another hole in the damn thing. <clears throat> but uh, that's the problem. I can't put a new cable in because none of the new cables will fit it. Even though it's not used anyway because the hard drives don't use that particular cable. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> the, none of the hard drives have that pin, so none of them use it. So I don't really need it. So uh, I'm going to try to do some unnecessary surgery on the thing and uh, drill a hole or do something... So I can fit a newer cable into the motherboard. We're going to see if we can get this damn thing to work. Because it's, I hate it. I hate it. It comes off easier than it goes on. I still I don't care. Get off, you piece of shit. Get off. Deep in the madness of cables is the offending IDE connector. Which you will see has pins in every single one. Here's a newer style connector. Which you can see is missing one. These are all the hard drives are missing this pin. Everything nowadays, uh, CD-ROMs, I don't think miss that back then anyway, have that pin, but, uh, yes, the hard drives do not have that pin. All the new cables do not have that pin, but my old style cable does, and so does the motherboard, so we have to fix that. Alright hey guys, so we got a drill. Got some drill bits. small bit I have so we're gonna you know we're gonna test it out on one I don't really care about. We're just gonna see if it works. Alright. And if it doesn't work I'll get a smaller bit. I don't I think I messed it up because I don't think the bit's just too big. And uh, it fits in there but I don't I think it's gonna work because I see some wires. So as you saw, the drill, although fun, didn't work. It's just too damn big. But uh, I had to give this a try on another cord and on the failed cord earlier, and I was able to get it. So now I'm gonna do it, you know, for reals. <laughs> we're gonna take this, make a mark, and we're gonna make that little tiny little hole with the suckers. Let's see. Get in the center there. I can make a mark here. Nice hole so far. Let's try this one. Put some corn on the cut. 
have a handle here. We find our way, don't we? Gotta be nice. Twirl it around a little. That got in there really nice. Well, I've put my new cable in to the hard drives, and it's just a pain in the ass. Like, these are plenty long enough. Like, in order to. My problem is that I got, you know, a CD-ROM up here. It normally goes up here, but, you know, just to give it some more room, I put it down one. Because it also has to connect to my zip drive, which I don't use anyway, but it's there. And then I got the hard drive here, and I got another hard drive down here. And it's just, you know, it's just, we're reaching. And, but it has plenty of room. The cable is long enough, but the problem is... They're in the way. The CD-ROM one is in the way of the hard drive ones, and you really got to tangle them up. And I'm sure that's why the cables failed in the first place. Just there's some twists that shouldn't be there. But anyway, we got the new one, which I've drilled a hole in, or I've chiseled a hole is more accurate. And uh, let's see. When we put it in there, it does something. If we can get it in there, it'll. I don't... Ah, so many cables, so many cables. It went in smooth. It went in. That's good. That's good news. So, uh, should be all I need right now. Let's uh, turn it around and see how the light responds. It's not on. Light's not on. Right, now it's on. Is it? I can't. I can't even tell. I got too much light on the thing. Well, let's look up here. It's detected the hard drives. Starting MS DOS. Yes, there it goes. Going through my boot sequence. All right, we're successful. Another successful unnecessary surgery. <laughs> Hope everyone enjoyed the unnecessary surgery video. It's a uh, two in a row. Ah. Um, this one was actually recorded before the last one. You can, uh, if you look closely, you can see the green lava lamp is still in this one. So this one was slightly before the last one. And uh, anyways, I don't have much to point you to today. Uh, it's quite a lot of effort to uh, put the videos link the other videos and actually show the videos playing and everything I, don't know, ugh, I can't be bothered to do that every single time but uh, you can look at the last unnecessary surgery video if you wish it's on the lava lamp you can watch my Roger Rabbit video my deluxe paint video my wheel of fortune video I don't know you, know, you can find them they're not too far back hope you like, comment, subscribe if you like any of the stuff and uh, see you later. Bye.